Hello traders, this is Elizabeth Bilugina and you're watching daily stock market trading plan by Tradimo. It's Thursday, April 4th. As you can see, in line with our expectations, S&P 500 index post in the area of 2880-2870. Here we find the highs of January 2018 and as a result, this is a significant obstacle for the bulls on their way to the upside. The market is awaiting news about trade deal between the United States and China. Traders are really optimistic and this is a major positive factor. There is a speculation that President Donald Trump will announce plan for the future summit with Chinese President Xi Jinping. Uh, on Thursday, Trump will meet with uh, Vice Premier Liu He and uh, it is believed that the parties are rather close to the agreement. In addition, some uh, positive, uh, more or less positive news were um, out from the UK where the parliament mm, has uh, passed a bill which uh, will help the country to avoid a no-deal Brexit. Uh, this may mean prolonged uncertainty, but for now this is better than the risk of um, Britain leaving without any kind of agreement, so this is as good as the market may get. So uh, the outlook, outlook is uh, generally positive, Although we see that S&P 500 is uh, rather far away from the moving averages here, so the risks of correction remain. And uh, in order to get uh, more bullish momentum, we need to get at least above 28.90 level. As for Dow Jones Industrial Average, it managed to uh, get to new highs and um, rise dynamically, so um, we are watching higher levels on the upside here. The main market mover was Tesla, and we see a huge bearish gap, although the stock is now trying to close it. Actually, what happened with Tesla is that it released sales data for the first quarter and According to the figures, there were record declines in uh, deliveries of Tesla cars and this uh, affected the market. In addition, there is the court ruling today about um, Elon Musk and his possible violation of his agreement with SEC uh, that may lead to some fines for Tesla, so the market is paying attention. All in all, uh, the company's prospects are um, better for the second quarter, but uh, still uh, we see that there was a substantial decline, which emphasized resistance in the area of uh, 294 level. The moving averages on the daily chart are in the negative order. And although on the weekly chart we saw that there was significant support in the area of um, 255. Uh, if we close this week below 200 week moving average, the stock will likely remain under pressure in the near term. Have a look at the chart of Facebook. Here we see positive dynamics and the stock is actively testing resistance in the area of uh, 177. The brokerage company Guggenheim uh, increased um, the recommendation for Facebook from hold to buy. This is certainly positive and uh, the fight with major resistance here if we get a close above 178. Then it will open the way up to 180 and 190 levels as we break out of this range. Of course, Facebook has many uh, problems, but now things with the scandal seems to die down a bit. And uh, technically, the stock looks rather well if it manages to overcome resistance. 
This is all for today. Thank you for your attention and subscribe to, to Tradimo YouTube channel.